YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Booba, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 player review on the channel. I hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and check out the new E Champions League winner card for Kaká. Kaká is a 94 rated card with 94 pace, 89 shooting, 92 passing, 96 dribbling, 47 defending, and 76 physical. He stands at six foot one, has high medium work rates, right footed with five star skill moves and four star weak foot. We don't see much versatility with the card. He can play center, attacking mid, and also center forward. If we go ahead and look at his in game stats boys we can see that the card does have the potential to be very overpowered he has 94 pace with 95 acceleration and 93 sprint speed which is really solid not the craziest of shooting stats only 89 shooting overall with 89 attacking positioning and 89 finishing i would probably recommend a chem style to bump that up a bit more 92 passing a very solid stat for a center forward or center attacking mid 94 vision with 91 crossing 94 short pass and 88 long pass 96 dribbling is obviously where the card is going to go ahead and excel the most he does have 93 agility with 92 balance 93 reactions, 95 ball control, and 97 composure. He should feel extremely quick and swift on the ball. 47 defending, but you're not really going to be put into situations where you are defending with Kaká. And then he does have 76 physical with 60 jumping, 91 stamina, 81 strength, and 51 aggression. If we go ahead and look at his player traits, we do see a lot of added bonuses to the card, which is great to see. He does have the finesse shot, flare, speed dribbler, playmaker, outside the first shot, and technical dribbler player traits. If we jump on over to footbin, we can see that Kaká does have the unique body type, which is really overpowering in fifa 23 he can only have the controlled acceleration type and i'm personally going to go ahead and play him at that center forward position so i'm going to go ahead and give him a hunter chemistry style it's going to give him 99 pace with 94 shooting if you guys do enjoy these fifa 23 play reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is the team boys that we're going to be using in a few games of the ultimate team of the season cup to test out the new kaka card we're going to be playing him at the center forward position in a 4-3-2-1 formation so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's see how good this card really is. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number one. And straight off the bat, I want to go ahead and test out Kaká's dribbling. He should feel extremely quick and swift on the ball. And as you guys can see, his dribbling feels really nice. Perfect. Kaká. Oh, the reverse elastico. Great dribbling right there. Yeah, man, he feels very quick and swift. Plays it across. Ooh, Firmino with the poor touch. Good pressure. Kaká. We'll go for a Trivella. Ooh, he's moved his goalkeeper right there. Good attacking positioning, though. Continue his run. We'll give it to him. Oh, he's jumped over it. Kaká has to be a goal. Has to be a goal, boys. Come on. That's a clinical finish right there. I will say that his attacking positioning so far is really, really solid. Especially with the Hunter Kem style. Go for a little switch right here. Nice. Good step over. Acceleration could have been a little bit better right there. Couldn't really get away from the defender. Oh, that's good pressure. Kaká, reverse elastico has to score, boys. Come on. I will say that the reverse elastico on the card, he executes it really nicely. Another tidy finish as well. I feel like my opponent's starting to open up a little bit more. Alawiren. Good ball. Kaká, Trivella near post. Boys, he is clinical, man. That's a fantastic finish. I think he moved his goalkeeper just a little bit, so maybe that helped us out. But again, Kaká completes his hat-trick. Right, maybe like a 1-2 right here. Just move the ball around a little bit. It's a good run. Ball roll. Trivella. Decent shape to it, to be honest. Could have been a little bit better. Maybe if I got a little bit closer to the goal. I swear, boys, the ultimate team of the season cup is something different. The sweat levels in this game mode is ridiculous. Kaká. Test out maybe his passing. Oh, that's a great ball into Bobby. Come on, boys. Kaká with the fantastic assist. His passing is actually really accurate as well, which is really important for that center forward role. I go over the top. Why not? Kaká. Good touch. The weak foot. Oh, good block. Good block. Kaká is the main short. Maybe just run a little bit. I was thinking about a Trivella. That's not going to happen with Diaby being annoying. Nice little skill move. Still with it. Oh, it's gone through the legs. That would have been brilliant. And bring it out. I, mean, I might just try to run down the line with Kaká. That's a nice little skill move. Can he get away from Nuno Mens? That's great sprint speed. Very nice. Ball roll. Good ball. Kvaraskili on your post. Come on, boys. That's all Kaká right there. Another fantastic assist. The sprint speed to get away from Nuno Mens. Very nice. All right, boys, here we are jumping into our final game using the new Champions League Kaká card. 
And to be completely honest, in order to complete the SPC, I think it's like 900,000 coins. Um, it's a very, very solid card. I don't think that the upgrade compared to like his foot birthday card is anything too crazy. So if you maybe already have his foot birthday card, I don't really recommend completing this one. But if you are looking for a new icon, a new super sub, if you do have a lot of fodder in your club, I do think that this would be a pretty solid SPC to complete. Finally, good tackle. Zizou. I'm trying to force it to Kaka. That's a fantastic ball. He's pulled out his goalkeeper. Kaka, boys. Clean and close control right there. Rounds the goalkeeper. Good attacking positioning. Great finish as well. All day nice. Kaka. Nice little step over. It's around from uh, Hernandez. Have a shot. Why not? Oh, that's a good save by Allison. I think it's Allison. Still with it. Oh, that's good strength. Nice. Still with it. Finish. Kaka on your post. Has to be, boys. Come on. We win the corner with Kaka. Great attacking positioning again. I feel like at that center forward role, he's a solid, solid player. Saliba, nice. Zizou, Kaka. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Kaka for the win. Played across. No, Allison. Oh, I think he moved his goalkeeper probably, right? Picha. One touch football is nice. Ah, sends him. Near post. That's how we do it, boys. That is how we do it with this card. That's a beautiful finish. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new ECL winner Kaka card in three games of the Ultimate Team of the Season Cup. And to be completely honest, Pim, what a card. Now, in order to complete the SBC, it's going to cost you roughly 900,000 coins. And for that price, you are getting a really solid card. So if you do have the fodder, I would highly recommend you guys go ahead and complete them. If you guys already have the foot birthday version, then I wouldn't go ahead and upgrade to this version. I feel like both cards are very similar. And then his foot birthday card also does have five-star skill moves and five-star weak foot. This one has five-star skill moves and four star weak foot so definitely keep that in mind as well now if you do only have maybe like the prime version of kaka and then you do have a lot of fodder then i would highly recommend you guys go ahead and upgrade that version to the ecl one because this one is absolutely phenomenal in game as well so boys we come to the question is this sbc worth it and i'm gonna go ahead and say yes if you do have the fodder like i said in game he is absolutely incredible great pace and finishing he's extremely extremely clinical great passing for a center forward or center attacking mid and then the standout stat in my opinion his 96 dribbling extremely quick and swift on the ball overall i'm gonna go ahead and give the card a 9.5 out of 10 rating i really enjoyed using him especially with that unique body type he just feels very overpowering in game so yeah if you're looking for a new center attacking mid center forward or maybe even super sub kaka huge w but that is going to be the end of today's video boys if you guys did enjoy go ahead and smash the like button comment down below whether or not you guys are going to grind for the kaka card and then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video i've been your boy booba and i'll catch you guys in another one very very soon peace